Have you ever been ashamed or embarrassed of how God's touched your life and intervened in it, and now you walk with like this limp? Well, I want to tell you, you're not alone. Don't be ashamed of those things. I want to encourage you for this week as we look at the Devos and Genesis 32, and as you're going through, is God has intervened in our lives that he'll touch us supernaturally so that we remember uh, that he is enough, that his grace is enough, that we're supposed to be dependent on him. When you see that Jacob wrestled God, but really God wrestled him, and we see in verse 24 of chapter 32, Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. So God meets you in the darkness, meets you where you're at, and will wrestle you to a point where you gotta just hold on to him, say, Lord, just bless me, I'm done running away. I'm done with this life. And so he used to be a deceiver, and now he's wrestled with God and prevailed. He's let God be the center and master of his life. I want you to see this in 25. When the man saw that he could not defeat him, he struck Jacob's hip socket as he wrestled and dislocated his hip. And for the rest of Jacob's life, he walked with a cane and he walked with a limp. And it was to remind him, one, you can't outrun God. You can't run away from him. And two, the testimony of God's grace in his life. And you and me have had testimonies in our lives about God has touched us. And we may walk with the limp, but remember this, his grace is enough. If you have had that in your life, what I want you to do right now, send this to someone to remind them that his grace is enough. And even comment below, say his grace is enough to be an encouragement for those that walk with their limps. It's our testimony of God's goodness and for us to thank him for the limps that we have. I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you guys next time.